Hi, this is Danica McKellar, and I'm going to do a little story time reading of my book, Bath Time, Math Time Shapes, written by me and illustrated by Alicia Padron, who is absolutely amazing. All right. Shapes are all around. It's true. Bath time, math time. I'll show you. There's the mom getting the bath ready. And then she's taking off her socks. Oh, looks like the kitty cat got one of her socks. There's some shapes up here on the shelves. Hmm, we might need some of those shapes. Bath time, math time, what's this thing? It's my mommy's pretty ring. Small and round and round it goes. It's a circle, mommy knows. Look, she's seeing the ring on her finger and there it is. Oh, it's a circle, so shiny. Bath time, math time, what's its name? All four sides are just the same. Can you guess what shape that is? I use this cloth to wash my bear. What's its shape? A perfect square. Scrub, scrub. There's the washcloth. It's a square. And she washes her little bear with it. Bath time, math time. What's that shape? Boats help pirates to escape. Sails have three sides. Did you know? Triangles help sailboats go. Ooh, the mom's dressed up like a pirate. Here's the little boat, the triangle sail. And the kitty has that eye patch on too. <laughs> yeah, triangle. What shapes can the water make? A heart or star, an oval lake? Water changes shape, it's flowing. Bath time, math time, let's keep going. Look at that, the whole bathtub is an oval. And then these shapes get filled with water and then it makes those shapes too. Bath time, math time, what is that? Shapes don't have to just be flat. There's a whole world to explore. Shapes can be 3D, here's more. All around my balls the same, bouncy, bouncy, sphere's the name. It's a 3D shape, it's a sphere, it's a ball. Ends are circles, it's tall too. Cylinder holds my shampoo. Looks just like a tiny box. Cube, the shape of all my blocks. So many shapes. Look at all those shapes. And she's stacking up some blocks. What's going to happen? Ah, no, they fell. <laughs> the blocks, they all fell. Oh, no. Well, the mom's laughing. I guess it's not so bad. Bath time, math time. Come along. Two sides short and two sides long. Towels help to get me dry. It's a rectangle. Bye-bye. And all clean. We learned about all these shapes. And baby got nice and clean. So I hope you enjoyed this story. I have a little note to parents in the back of the book, which I can read now. Congratulations on putting your child on the path to a lifelong love of math. This story introduces your toddler to the properties of some shapes that they will learn about in school and distinguishes between 2D and 3D objects. I remember reading toddler books to my son and having to clarify to him, no, a ball is not a circle. A ball is a sphere. <laughs> it was so annoying. So I made sure that, that this book did not have that problem. Additionally, this story shows kids that these math objects surround us, reinforcing that math is a fun, relatable subject. So find shapes all around your house. It's really fun. And then I show here um, some 2D shapes versus some 3D shapes. And um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this reading of Bath Time, Math Time Shapes. I've got all sorts of books at mykellermath.com. Um, but whatever books you're reading, I hope that you use this time, this crazy time we're in right now, quarantine and self-isolation to connect with your family. And reading is such a source of comfort and connection. So I, I wish you much, much happiness, health, and reading with your kids. Mwah.